to clinicals. It is Monday. I forgot my earrings. I'm gonna have to take off my ring and my watch before I go into the NICU rooms. But I'll leave it on until I get there and then I just put it, or I'll probably put it in my purse, but I'm gonna fix my eyelash because, yeah, I need some help. Hey guys, so I am so bummed out right now because I'm out of clinicals and my RT did not let me do anything today. So it was kind of annoying, but she was like, all the babies are very touchy, so I'm not gonna let you do anything with them. And then she had me going and getting supplies for her which I don't mind because I do need to know where all the supplies are <clears throat> so I just ran a lot of favors going to the RT department getting supplies and then um, I titrated down on the bubble CPAPs on the FIO2s and and on the Draeger I got to see the ending of a chest tube I didn't even get to see the doctor putting the chest tube in. Hey guys, so my day's almost over and I...
I got I got kind of cut off when I was at the hospital. Sorry about my voice. I'm kind of losing my voice and I have a lot of phlegm and trying to cough it up and everything. I'm currently at work right now, but I'm taking a little break so I could come and let you guys know a little bit of what happened um, on Monday and Tuesday of last week and of course I want to give a little outro as well so on Monday my preceptor basically told me that she wasn't going to let me touch any of the babies and because they were very touchy and so what she did let me do was um, she let me go and get supplies for her she let me titrate on the Drager and she let me titrate on the Bubble CPAP on the FIO2. And then the second preceptor on Tuesday, she actually let me put a PPV together. I mean, an IPV together. So I was able to hook it up, take it apart, put it back together. Um, so set it up for the patient to use and she put the medication in and on Monday the preceptor let me put the medication into the IPV for her but it's just strange how they didn't even let me listen to their lungs it's really really strange uh, we had a very bad experience on Wednesday so as soon as I got there um, there was an intubation, so I got to watch that. And then around 3 p.m., there was another intubation, and I got to watch that one from start to finish. So I did leave, end up leaving a little bit later, like maybe 3.37. And what happened was that baby had brain damage because he was stuck in the birth canal for too long, and his brain started having inflammation and now it's affecting his breathing so all day he was having apneic periods and his nurse would just turn off the alarms every single time and then he would go flatlined like he would not breathe it would say zero respiratory rate so then I looked at my preceptor and I was like zero and I'm like looking at the monitor I'm like looking at her and I'm like zero that's not good and then she goes I'm gonna go over there so she goes over there and the nurse is giving the baby blow by um and 
VRT asked her how many times have you gave blow by have you gave PPV and then she's like I just been giving blow by and then he'll start breathing again but she's like this baby needs to stop crying already um, or else he's gonna aggravate me and I was just like oh my gosh like that is so rude like if you couldn't breathe nurse you would be crying too so poor little baby I felt so bad for the baby, but I'm glad that the RT stepped in and she started giving PPV. And then after that, she said, we're going to get high flow. So she got high flow and then it kept on happening from, I got there at 630 in the morning. So 630 all the way till three. And then she called the doctor and she said, this baby's been having apneic periods all day. The doctor was like, this is not acceptable. We're going to intubate. And he's like, how long has this been happening? And she's like, all day. And he's like, no, this is not acceptable. So I got to see him and the three other RTs came in and they helped. And then there was some little drama moments uh, between the RTs, like, um, the lead was telling the other RT that she could do it. She could do the blood gas and she could do this. And the other RT is like, oh no, I got it. And then, so the other RT is like rolling her eyes, like so annoyed, like basically trying to tell her like, I got it. I could do this. You go do something else. And I don't know if it's just that RT that's always trying to do everything and the other RTs like, no, I got this. So both of the RTs last week, they tried to send me off on like hour lunches, on two hour lunches, like one in the morning, one in the afternoon. They're like, oh, I'm just charting. There's, sorry, it's boring. There's nothing really going on. You could take an hour lunch. You could come back whenever you want. You could do whatever you want. So on Monday, I just took my normal 15 minute break and then my 30 minute lunch and then um she kept on telling me like oh you do you have a case study you need to work on do you have uh homework you need to work on you could go do it and so anyways I went and took my break and then she's like oh yeah we're not gonna do cares until 11 so I left and I came back at 11 and she's like oh oh we did the care already and I'm like like thanks for waiting for me so then the next day um the lady the preceptor was like oh yeah you could take an hour lunch do whatever you want so I'm like okay I'm gonna take my hour lunch so I took my hour lunch I worked on my case study because I needed to get that done and then um and then I came back and uh she was like oh we did one of the cares already and I'm like oh thank you for waiting for me so I don't know why they do that they like send me away and then they do their cares and then when I come back they already did their care and I'm like wow I think they don't like students I really think they don't like students and maybe the fact that they know that I want to work in the NICU they're probably just trying to get me out of there I have a bad feeling. I'm just like, why do they tell me to take hour lunches? Why do they tell me to go do something else? And then why do they do their care once I'm gone? Like, it's just ridiculous. But anyways, I hope that I have a better week tomorrow. Tomorrow. I hope I have a better week next week. Today's Saturday. And it's currently 6.15 a.m. I'm back at my job, my in-home care job. It's 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. So it's in-home care. So it's not too hard on me. It's just waking up in the morning. I got to get used to waking up. Now I have to wake up at 4.30, four days a week. Mondays and Tuesdays for clinical. And then Friday and Saturday for work. But it's okay because I only got two more weeks left three more weeks I got three more weeks left of the semester and then I'm done and I get to get a one week break for my birthday so exciting which I just want to relax I don't even care about doing anything for my birthday but there are these cute Nike dunks I'll insert a picture here so you can see what they look like and I want those I already told my fiance I want those either for my birthday or for a congratulation gift for passing fourth term but yeah I just wanted to give a little outro for you guys because I know sometimes I don't I'm not feeling the best so I hope to be feeling better 
tomorrow. I just have a lot of phlegm. It's just a lot of nasal congestion, a lot of phlegm coming down, and then I'm constantly coughing it up. But anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share this video, and see you guys in my next video.